what is going on guys welcome back to the channel film study for rookies today man we're gonna break down max crosby and i gotta say he is definitely one of my favorite defensive ends to watch why because he has more than just one move he has a plethora of moves he has combinations man he's got everything let's jump into the film so i can show you guys what i'm talking about let's go back to the first play real quick against the denver broncos so as we go back and look at this play what I want you guys to watch about Crosby is that at any point he could do a speed rush or a bull rush and that really throws off the offensive lineman. What am I saying? Take a look right here. So Crosby, on all these sacks you're going to see he lines up pretty far on the outside, right? Usually a first step inside, he takes that to the outside. Now if the tackle right here, let's say he plays the speed rush. What is Crosby going to do? He's going to bull rush the tackle. And look what happens. Completely throws a tackle out of balance. Next thing you know, Crosby, swim move over the top. Easily takes down Russell Wilson. Now let's jump to the Steelers. You're going to see the same thing right here. Take a look. Crosby lining up pretty far on the outside. Right here, the Steelers snap it. And this time, it's a little bit of a counter step. You know, I talked about in the last play against the Broncos. Usually a move inside, then back to the outside. Right here, he's expecting the tackle to draw the double team between the guard and the center right here. And what Crosby's trying to do is get the tackle to come out here and then bang, bounce that thing back in. So as we rewind this right here, take a look what happens. Step in, bounce it to the outside, and he's trying to come back in, but a guard's going to help right there. Doesn't matter, man. Crosby never gives up on the play, and then he's taking down Kenny Pickett right here. Now let's jump to play number three right here. So right here against the Chargers, we're going to have Crosby lining up as the wide nine outside the tight end. And then right here, man, he's taking down Justin Herbert. Now this play was interesting for a couple reasons. One, he's lining up as the wide nine. So he's outside the tight end on this play. So the tight end right here, bang, he's going to chip Crosby, try to throw him off balance a little bit, help out the tackle. What we're going to see Crosby do is a ghost move essentially, right? Comes from Von Miller. Get his hands up, try and get the tackle to engage, get low, bend that shoulder, flatten it out, and then go get the quarterback, right? Ideally, but watch what the tackle does right here. As you're going to see, man, just kind of grabs a face mask, can't get the face mask, goes for the neck. It doesn't matter, man. Crosby, once again, doing big things. Take a look. Trying to do the ghost move right there. Gets held a little bit. Taking down Justin Herbert, let's go to the next one. The next play we're going to look at, the Raiders are actually going to run a stunt. So it's going to be an end over tackle stunt. And I love what Crosby does right here. You know, if you're watching on Sundays, you probably won't see this. But what he does right here is he makes contact with the tight end. Now, you know, you could say, you know, he's trying to basically throw the tight end off the route. And that's true. But what he's trying to do is convince the tackle that he's going to go out here for a speed rush, right? And what that's going to lead to is a tackle going all the way out here, which now means if the offensive tackle right here goes out here thinking Crosby's going to be here, that's going to set up this stunt perfectly. Because what this defensive tackle is trying to do is basically crash inside, attract both, right? Then here goes Crosby right in the middle. So take a look what happens. He makes contact with the tight end. Tackle immediately pushes out, right? Defensive tackle right here. He does his job perfectly, 91 doing his job perfectly as well. And look who's going right in the middle. Now, Joshua Kelly, man, you, <laughs> you got to pick up Crosby right there. But he chooses not to. Take a look at this one more time. You know, Crosby forces his tackle to go out here. And then what do you know, man? Crosby is taking down Herbert once again. Let's keep it going. The next play we're going to look at, we're going to see the Packers use two guys to try and basically contain Crosby a little bit. Neither one of them is an offensive lineman. So let's take another look on how this went real quick. The first guy is going to be a tight end. And what we're going to see here is basically a chip. And then he's going to go out for his route, right? So take a look what happens right here. Ball snap, tight end right there, bang. Now this is important to watch. You know, the Packers, they're going to run a play action right there, bang. So they've got help right here with the running back right there. They've got this guy right here who's going to come out and help too. But Crosby is a smart individual. So he's going to make contact right there. He's looking. He sees this guy right here playing inside. So what's Crosby do? He times this perfectly. Disengages, gets low, right? Bends that shoulder, bang, taking down Jordan Love. 
All right, guys, right here was one of my favorite plays. Not because of what Max Crosby did, but just because of just the Bears O-line in general. Let's run this back real quick. So as we look at this again, the ball snapped, right? Six-man protection. Running backs over here on the left side. Right side, we got our center, our guard, and our tackle. So no blitz is going in. The center is now going to help out the left side over here. On the right side, we got three blockers. The running back, tackle, and guard. As we let the play develop, you're going to see the guard. He's going to pass his guy off to the tackle. Bang. Center's going to pick up this guy right here. Okay. So the left side is good. So now as we take a look at the opposite side, the tackle is essentially going to pass Crosby off to nobody. So now everybody is worried about this defensive tackle right here, right? Offensive tackle leaves Crosby over here. And everybody is worried about the defensive tackle. Let the play develop. Take a look. All three guys are going after this defensive tackle. Nobody is picking up Crosby. Man, I really do feel bad for Bears fans, even though they won a few games last year. Let's keep it going. All right, the next play we're going to look at, we're going to see Crosby with a double swipe technique to the inside. Man, takes down Daniel Jones, and honestly, Daniel Jones pretty much gave up because he knew it was over. Let's run this one back real quick. Take a look what happens. So as we break this play down, we have to slow it down a little bit because Crosby is going to do a little hezzy. And you know, when you do that in basketball, you're basically trying to catch the defender off guard, right? A little hezzy, kind of freeze him, and then bang, make your move. So right here, Crosby does the same thing. Take a look what happens. So once the ball is snapped, you're going to see Crosby isn't really running. It's almost like a jump step, right? And from the jump step, the tackle now has to guess, is he going left, right, or is he going to bull rush me? And then watch what Crosby does right here. Bang. Right inside. Take a look what happens right here. Ball snap. Bang. Jump. Get inside. Bend that shoulder. And then DJ just falls down, man. Let's keep it going. So right here is going to be our last play. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Right here is against the Broncos. Rip move underneath, man. And as you're going to see, Crosby once again taking down the quarterback. Take one more look at this. Bang. Gets low. Bends that shoulder. Taking him down. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Let me know what other content you guys want to see. Preseason is coming up. If there's a certain Raiders player you want me to do a breakdown over in preseason, drop it in the comments. I'll catch you guys on the next one.